Welcome back. This is going to be a video on how to configure the UPS plugin. So the first thing you are going to want to do is go to your dashboard and then to get to the UPS settings you hover over WooCommerce, click on settings, and once you're in here we can click on the shipping tab. So now we're in the shipping tab and up here we can see some different options including UPS which we can click on right here. And this is only going to show up after we've installed the UPS plugin for you. Um, you have to uh, inquire about installing it with us or else you won't be able to get this because it is you do have to pay for this, but we have it already so we can install it for you. So definitely get into contact with us before this and have us install the UPS plugin for you. Once it's installed, we can or you can click here for the UPS uh, tab and then you can enter in your user ID, your password, and then you're going to actually have to go to UPS by clicking on this via their website uh, link right here. And you're going to have to make a UPS access key and a UPS account number, or you're going to have to get the account number, but you're going to have to make a UPS access key. So if we go ahead and click on this via their website, you'll have to log in here or create an account. And then you have to click on manage access keys and go through the steps and get your access key and then enter all that information into here. Once you've done that, now you're ready to add uh, UPS shipping as a shipping option in the shipping zones tab. So here's the shipping zones tab. Um, you can go ahead and edit an existing zone or add a new zone uh, and you can learn how to configure zones in another video that we'll have linked. So once you click on edit in your zone here, I'm going to go ahead and click on add shipping method. I'm going to click from the drop down and I'm going to select UPS. And now I'm going to go ahead and click edit. So now there are a whole bunch of options in here that you can edit on this page. So you can change the, the title of the shipping. You can change if it's taxable or not. You want to enter in your city, postcode, and your country, so that way it knows where the package is going to be coming from so it can calculate the correct amount for shipping. So you want to go ahead and enter the city, postcode, and country. Down here is all of the shipping options that you can then select. So all of these are in your UPS account. You can enable or disable them over here. There's a bunch of them that you can pick from. You can also change the label that it displays on the checkout page. So instead of saying three day select UPS, you can actually change this to whatever you'd like on the checkout page. The prices are going to be automatically calculated. That's why there's no price table here, but there is a price adjustment set or setting. So you are able to adjust the prices of each one of these. So if you want to knock off $5, you can do negative five and then whatever it calculates for this shipping option, it's going to knock off $5 from that shipping. You can also do price adjustment as a percentage as well. So you can also do negative 20%. So if we put in negative 20 here, it's going to knock off 20% of whatever it calculates for this shipping. And you can do this for each one of them. If we scroll down, there's a bunch of other options. Um, there's negotiated rates. You can enable this. You can make it so it a signature is required upon delivery or else it's going to go back to UPS or the post office. Uh, and then down here we can um, enter the origin address and then right here is a fallback. So what this is is um, if no options are available in the location that they entered in, you can enter a fallback or a flat rate. So if you put in five dollars, if all of these fail, it's going to charge five dollars, no matter what. So that's a just as a, a fall up, a fallback option. And then, of course, your weight and dimension units you want to set those as well. Now, the thing with the UPS plugin is, after you save the changes, for it to work, you actually have to set a weight for each of your products. So if we go into the product tab, and we're going to go to the other product. I'm going to just edit this test product that we have. You actually have to set a weight for the product so it can calculate how much it's going to be 
to, to ship this. So you're going to scroll down to the product data section and then you're going to click on shipping and then you're going to have to enter in a weight. So let's say this is five pounds. This is required for UPS shipping, shipping option to show up. So now that we've set this to five pounds, UPS is going to say, all right, this is five pounds and it's going to calculate um, how far it's going to go and then it's going to put in a price for shipping. And that's how the UPS plugin works. So if you have any other questions about the UPS plugin, go ahead and let us know and we'll be happy to help. And thank you for watching.